so long, so you think you can tell. Heaven from hell, blue sky from pain. Can you tell a green field from cold steel rain? A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Running over the same old ground. What have we found? Same old fear. How I wish you were here. November is bizarre. It's not natural for us to feel like we are here, but also there. Being a walking oxymoron as a society is tearing us not only on the outside, but also on the inside. And it brings forth all our memories of separation. Those we miss, those we can't be with. Because they are beyond a veil be any veil but still they are on the other side of it and so are we we are here but we're also on the other side of it everything is so split right now down to your own heart What do I feel? What do I want? It's all very, very, very inner. Everything you feel and everything you want. It's very, very, very inner. And in order to reach it, you gotta dive deep into some gunky places of your psyche. There's no way and no way to run away from it, nowhere to run away from it. Because you feel this way here and you feel this way over there. So running over there, away from here, same thing. It's like being in a room full of mirrors. And slowly but surely you no longer remember which of these reflections are you? Because the only way to know which one of these reflections is truly you is by, by, is by feeling yourself truly, sitting, standing in your place, observing the other reflections. But if you don't know who this is here, how will you tell the difference between your own self and your own reflections? It is on purpose right now. All of these so-called alleged exterior reflections of yourself. I feel this, but I also feel that. I think this, but I also think that. And it's not just dual, it's multiple. These are all aspects of yourself that are now coming forth for you to discover. They're not you. They've been there since the dawn of time. They are you. You just forgot. And now that the reality of our existence is so bluntly in our face, how split we are, how detached we are from one another, actually shows us how detached we are from ourselves. 
What do we truly feel and what do we truly want that isn't a reflection of what we are used to feeling and wanting, what we were told and taught to feel and want. We've been wearing a costume of a self for a very long time. Our character is just a gathering of our events and situations and people and relationships and our culture and our religion and our society. Suit upon a suit upon a suit. And it's being stripped off of us right now. Brutally. Because the universe waits no more. God waits no more. It wants to be whole. It is exhausted of being split. Done my adventure, experienced my experiences, can I just feel whole again? And God needs you to feel whole in order for he, she, it to feel whole. So it forces you there. It reminds you the thing that you have buried or that you thought you healed. I'm going to come to dance with you this month. Pisces. All seekers, let's be honest. Mercury, Mercury retrograded in Scorpio was not funny. It was not a regular retrograde for Mercury. Mm -hmm. Mercury going down to the underworld, being in Scorpio, is its truest and most ancient archetype. Mercury is Hermes, the messenger of the gods, the only one who was able to travel between the kingdom of the living and the kingdom of the dead and convey messages between the gods, him and Persephone. So he did so now. Every single one of your brain, every single one of you, your brain, went down under. Some of you didn't know what's going on because it was it was confusing. It was kind of taking you out of sort. It is taking you out of sort. This is for November as well, but most especially during the retro, it was messing with your brain, and not everyone have enough communication and conversation. And interaction with their subconscious and their sub, sub psyche in order to realize what was going on. So it felt really disoriented and disorienting. You need to understand something. It's not that you got split now. You were split. You're just now aware of it. In an attempt to bring back to wholesomeness of the spirit of the mind of the heart, you are guided to feel yourself and get to know yourself and admit to yourself to everything and go there, not away from it. The more you'll try to break the mirrors that reflect aspects of you to you, the more shatters each of these broken mirrors will have, thus more split reflections will reflect right back at you. So don't break the mirror. Enter into the mirror. Pisces for November from the cards. Thank you, Pisces. You've been oh so generous recently. And your last video was the bomb. 
and you've donated so much and there were so many views and so many purchases and so much support to me as more gain but also to the existential shift i appreciate you and namaste oh you deserve it pisces venus demitar the empress See, the creation of planet Earth and of the Great Mother, this isn't just Earth or Taurus, right? Taurus represents the Empress, but it's more than just planet Earth as a whole. What is it made of? What is the so-called split of this energy that is the All-Mother, the life-giving for everything? The elements. There's water, there's Earth. There's fire and there's air, and they all need each other and sustain each other. All of your pieces need each other and sustain each other. you got to make it work together, Pisces, because this is what you can be. And this is who you can have. This is amazing to have the Empress kick start your reading. This is abundance and flow and safety and warmth and generosity. You know that perfect feeling where it's cold but it's dry and you're dressed just right and the sun is also out. So it's also warm. And the air is clean and the birds are chirping and you're taking a deep breath. You're spreading your arms and maybe you're on top of a, at the edge of a hill or a mountain trail and you're just breathing in all of it and you feel alive and you feel complete for the first time in a long time and it's because you've danced with your reflections in the mirrors maybe you will physically be at a spot like that this month that will give you that sensation and that will mark the turning point between the old Pisces and the new Pisces, between the old world and the new world, between the old earth and the new earth. Watch my um, prophecy unfold video that I've done for November if you haven't so far. Dress the part this month I'm picking up. I see dress royal. Four of cups. Interesting. Some of you will receive an offer from an empress energy. It could be a very influential woman in your life, it could be even a mother figure. This could be you making that offer for this Four of Cups energy. But the person in the Four of Cups can't see the abundance. Now notice, this person here is leaning on a tree, one tree, right? And there's this cup from the clouds, from this Venusian amazing energy represented to them. And instead of having the entire woods and forests and streams and flowers, this person sits on, you know, with its back to one tree. Everything around it is bare because they are remembering these three cups. This is someone saying, um, refusing to the one for the sake of the memory of the others. It's like, um, 
I don't want a bird in my hand, I'd rather have three birds on a branch. That kind of an analogy. Let's see how it unfolds. Show me more. This could be present energy, recent past, or near future. The star. Okay, Venus is screaming itself here. We have two very strong representatives with the Empress and the star card for Venus. This is the morning star. And it wasn't just Lucifer morning star, it was also Venus. Lucifer means literally a uh, light bearer. So there is nothing but abundance and purity and truth and love and creativity and hope and great spirit around this Four of Cups individual and they are not seeing it. They are not experiencing it, they're not enjoying it, they're not allowing it in, and it's almost like it shines so bright. This person broken trust. Multiple. This three cups represents several situations where this individual had their trust shattered. Speaking of shattered mirrors. They had their trust completely broken. So they don't believe it. It looked amazing before and it turned out to be a scam. So this looks amazing now, but I remember. I remember how I was fooled. I remember how I was deceived. I remember how I was lied to. I remember how I believed. I remember how I tried. I remember how I hoped. And none of it worked. Bottom of the deck, the sun. But this person will have the sun shine on them whether they like it or not. Spirits are going to be very persistent in showing this person grace. There's a whole lot of grace pouring on this person. This this is love that equals, you know, the, the Empress with the star card. This is energy of love equals to like to unconditional love. This person is surrounded with unconditional love and they don't believe it. Wow. Show me more for Pisces. Eight of Cups. You're going to try to walk away from it and turn their back to it. This can also be someone who's in the limelight, like in some sort of stardom, but it makes them feel exposed and timid, so they're trying to walk away from it. This person has experienced a major karmic um, journey with a lot of karmic faded, difficult, heavy events, and they're exhausted. Magician. Hey, Mercury. Speaking of. Okay. This is quite literally Mercury going down to the underworld. This is very much so the hero's journey. This is someone that is very capable. Very Merlin vibe. Right? Because Merlin, in, the, in a similar archetype, was also a character that was able to travel between Camelot and Avalon. Someone here is going into. I don't know, if, I don't want to say adventure, but more so 
a journey, an experience, a place, an event, something that is um, very spiritual, very revealing of whoever goes there. Page of Pentacles. There is an element of research and study of this place or thing. A lot of mental work, a lot of thought, a lot of um, hermetic energy. I'm picking up research that can have something to do with possibly spirituality or creativity of some sort. Maybe you're working on a creative project that requires research, right? You need to learn about whatever it is you're writing about or whatever it is that you're doing. It could be physically going somewhere that represents this thing or going there with your mind, reading about it, studying, There is something that you really want to manifest, Pisces, that you truly believe in, that you really want, and you, you, you possibly have been uh, disappointed with it. Maybe you felt like it's not seen properly or it isn't given the proper um, benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Fool. Show me where this leads to in November, please, for Pisces. Seven of Wands. This will require a lot of um, a lot of energy of focus and determination and exertion of energy and discernment and accuracy and you'll need to stand up for some things and kind of work through some obstacles in this there's something you really really believe in Pisces you really deeply believe in and you either seek to prove what it is that you believe in Right? Maybe you have a theory and you want to prove it. And you have some adversity or deniers. Four of Wands. This is a journey worth taking that you will succeed in. You will find people who do believe in it or in you or whatever this is. You do have a community that will see eye to eye with you if not already. It's coming up here in November and I feel like the second Mars goes direct in Aries mid-month on uh, the 13th of November. Things will start coming out of your inner self to your outer reality and things will start to bear shape. And bear fruit. Two fours, two eights. You are guided to really take note of the material world, of reality. To not, you know, to to jump with a bungee rope. Yeah. To have some or, or or like a safety net something to pull you back as gravity to reality every time you go travel in your head or in your creativity or off to the mountains you know leave breadcrumbs so you could <laughs> track yourself back home when you step into a mirror into a an aspect of a self to investigate and research it 
give yourself reminders how to come back to self bringing in with you that reflection but to not stay lost in just that reflection this is not a matter of jumping between one costume to the other as opposed to just figuring it out how you look that is a combination of all of it and none of it one wholesome expression right, it's not about going from one costume to the other it's about not having a costume, not needing a costume. I hope you understand what I mean that I'm not being overly um, you know, metaphoric. But there, there are a lot of met metaphors on the table. So you might be using metaphors, your imagination in some way, shape, or form, whatever it is that you're doing. There's also a lot of love on the table. Judgment. Yeah, this is a massive awakening. It, it will you you will be stretched in all kinds of uh, directions. It will feel wobbly and uncomfortable and weird and just just go with it. You'll feel way better in December. November is just going to be like that. That's a good thing. It's the part where the butterfly has already built itself up as a butterfly from a caterpillar inside the cocoon. It's already shaped, but now it needs to break out of the cocoon itself, right? The same system that was holding it, protecting it for this entire time that you've either been harmoning or working or creating or processing healing all that jazz dancing with your reflections in the mirror right all that you had a cocoon of protective you know bubble around you while you were going through that process there was a, a veiling between you and the outer world you know, to protect you and now you're ready, you're ready for the world, you're beginning to become ready for the world. And November is like when, when you just break down that, that cocoon. Come out of the birth canal, no longer need the womb. Some of you, it's, November is quite literally going to serve as like a new birthday going to feel like a complete new birthday for you, like you came back to life in some way, shape, or form, or was reborn. There is a rebirth here. And some of you are leading something, I feel like you're calling out to a community or a group of people um, with the guidance of some sort, giving guidance. Something that felt like a little bit dispersed where you had to kind of work hard, work hard in order to bring everyone together now towards the second half of the month will feel more cohesive. People will see more eye to eye. As you see yourself, your aspects of yourself more eye to eye, it will reflect in your exterior environment. Two of Swords and Knight of Wands. Someone is trying to bring in a message and it's not coming through. Someone is trying to speak, to express, to come forth in some way. Um, and they're being loud about it and present about it, but the other person is um, closed off to it. They don't want to hear it. It feels very much so like this Four of Cups energy of someone who's been, um, who had their trust. They do not trust you or you do not trust them. It is not going to be easy. This will require um, a continuous effort in order to regain someone's trust. There's also a certain realization about something that was um, almost hidden from you, not purposefully by someone else, but to you. It's something that you couldn't see or you weren't 
um, you weren't receptive to because of probably the uh, the cocoon you were in literally but now it's trying to really like shake you and, and, and maybe call you, text you, tell you, explain to you or, or vice versa this could be you trying to do that with someone else Trying once won't do. This is something that requires, again, as I said, a consistent um, showing of intent, of will. Like, if let's say you're trying to regain someone's trust or show them an aspect of you that they that you didn't show them before. It, it won't be enough to just do it once and then if it's not receptive to, to stop because then it will just be proof to that person that it's not true or it's just you know frail the, the intent isn't true it's just something that you say or do this is something that will require showing proof okay okay prove it okay nice words prove it okay you did it once okay let's see if you can do that again kind of thing and I feel like this person is coming from a very deep uh, wounding of, of broken trust. Now, I don't know if it's you who caused that broken trust or their past or both, but you place yourself within the narrative. no doubt that all the readings are going to be somewhat bizarre it took me time to get myself to do the November readings because the energy is just whack guys it's just whack <laughs> you know so I'm just a messenger I am reflecting what I feel and what I see so I am going to continue this with a more uh, precise intent to focus on your love life or look into you and your person of interest. It's called a double pentagram spread. Uh, it's very intense and we go deep into your mind and heart space and their mind and heart space, how things unfold throughout the month, your interaction and so on. I give a lot of advice, of course, and guidance. And we finish up with messages from the Celtic Runes. You can find it on Vimeo and you can find it on Patreon. I would love for you to check out Patreon because over there you get all the extendants and all the content for unlimited streaming, but not just for this month, also for past months. So you can sneak peek into like other months' extendants and videos and see what happened and compare. It's really fun. Anyway, I'll see you there in a second. Pisces, I know I said it, I'm going to say it again. I'm grateful for you. Uh, I'm, I know I have a lot of new um, Pisces seekers, subscribers, and I'm very, very excited to have you join my journey. Uh, so thank you for being here. Thank you for your trust. I love you very much. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, press the bell button to receive notifications. Um, and if you're interested, there's now a possibility to join the channel. It's just to show um, monthly support. It's $1.99. There's no extra content in it. If you want extra content, Patreon and Vimeo are your platforms, but if you just want to give reciprocity in a humble, easy way that will mean a lot because it adds up, then by all means, you are invited to. Either way, I love you. Okay, guys. See you soon.